but practically the practicality in that profession will come up with automatically will come up during the course of time so i would definitely say you do or stress upon to don't stick to that whatever i mean possible on that structural point of view or this and that you should be more innovative that is more uh, 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 good enough uh, one more thing is in starting time i would say during the first year it is a responsibility of uh, the professors and all that is you should you people should be more motivated towards that uh, profession so in in a starting period of time you may you may uh, may get bored sometimes or otherwise you will be more uh, you can say uh, exhaustive also on the other other hand also because you would be able to see because few of the students who are there according to you they are they might be your uh, batchmates of engineering students they might be enjoying here and there with watching movies series whatever but you are busy with your drafting you are busy with your drafting tools drawing boards whatever that with parallel bar and all those things or on autocad whatever that the media would be medium would be but so it is the right time to think of that is you are thinking or you are doing different from others or that's why you are the architect the rest are the uh, of other branches of the engineer or something like that so you should not make good relation with your bads only you should be make good relation with your drafting table that would be one more suggestion or i would say don't because you people have come up from 12th class to standards at that moment that the course would be was different and every contents would be different but here you'll get entirely different atmosphere so i would say don't be uh, more focused towards that softwares if if you come across with that your seniors and all they are doing the work on sketchup or whatever tocad and that all because it may be in your course curriculum but try to come up with your paper and pencil i mean to say by your hand drafting that i would stress you upon to work more and more with your uh, hand drafting things because uh, that would be the lifelong uh, you'll get the chance to work upon because the, for the rest of period and in the in the, in the further classes or further years of third year fourth year something like that you can't table if you wish to work by hand you won't able to get a time to work in that way so at least i would prefer you to work with by hand whether whatever the sheet is there whatever that your uh, subject would be maybe design it maybe building a section maybe anything anything so try to use one more thing i would say in the, in architecture professions we do have an okay that construction line and and, and all those things so try to uh, use of eraser would be very less so try to make a line in such a way okay it may be first of all you may go for a light line or something this thing light in this thing then after that after you confirm that is you are doing nice or you are doing well you may go for a firm lines or something something like that so i would say those lines which are are very light you would able to see you would able to visualize but that is not dark enough but those we may, we may say that those are the construction lines so don't try to erase those lines better to keep that things within the sheet but at least it gives you okay, okay this was that uh, construction lines so i would rather say try to use if you are uh, using less uh, razor then you would say you are doing less mistakes understand instead of if you are every time you are using razor that will spoil the sheet as well as that will uh, spoil the appearance of sheet as well as uh, of that drafting sheet so whether if you in starting you may found few problems okay we won't be able to uh, come up with good sheets or neat and clean sheets without eraser but later on you will find out that is okay now you are good in that so i would say and one more thing is uh, that is you people should be uh, more uh, should have an a more sitting capacity or should develop more sitting capacity for working 
because in 12th standard, I think uh, you people also have an such kind of capacity while preparing for different examinations, different uh, institutions, NIT, IITs, and all those different uh, colleges and all uh, exams. So you would have an, uh, some sitting capacity, maybe of 12 hours, 13, 14 hours, whatever the capacity you would have. So try to cope up with the same. But only the thing is you have to focus. Earlier, the focus was different on physics, chemistry, math, whatever that subjects you would able to go on but here now the the focus would be different that is towards purely towards that architecture or you would say uh, as one of my earlier speaker a good friend of mine he has quoted very nice quotes of different uh, master architects and different all those things you would rather gone through their literature go through their uh, you can say words go through their vocabulary what they have used in their uh, uh in their um, process and uh from vocabulary i would prefer or uh, i would advise you people to maintain a uh, one diary in your uh, every time you do have you should have uh, one diary in which whatever that new terms new vocabulary comes out in your mind or during your study or during uh going through that literature you should better to note that word on your diary and keep it in your uh, along with the sentence so that you would able to because every time we do not have that much capacity of retaining every word or everything in your mind so i would say that that would be much better even till now i am using this the same because it is my habit or it is my you can say uh, i'm fond of keeping out the words a uh, proper words in my uh, personal diary or something like that so that uh, because uh, and one more thing is vocabulary is more more and most important while uh, going through this profession or rather i would say uh, because you have to sell your product so until unless the presentation skill or the words which are you choosing to impress others if you don't have that vocabulary in your mind or in your thoughts you won't be able to sell your product so ultimately, because the people are getting finished product at the outcome in architecture also, we do admire the finished product. That is the what are the outcomes comes out from your design, but you are supposed to work in the X-ray form that is in the skeleton form or that is what is there inside. If you're saying that false ceiling of any hotel or any room or any interior of any room is good enough, what, what is there? construction techniques, what is their uh, way of doing, what is the material they have choose, choosing, and what are the advantages, disadvantages of those materials which you are supposed to be used over there. So you are supposed to work on that detailing part. And one of this earlier speaker already told you that you have to take care of that drafting, that all things, that what kind of uh, strokes of pencil strokes and all those things that they are supposed to be right uh, i mean uh, use over there in your whether it's in a uh, that's uh, we would say that as in a line weights so you should play with the line weights that is also a, a good thing while presenting either through hand drafting tools or either through uh, from softwares like autocad or any other things because whatever right in the way you are doing the presentations also few things you would like to uh, highlight with bold or something like that. So it means, uh, and if you are, you can say as in a uh, light in color. So I would say that is in architecture, you would have in a syllabus of all those things that you, your teacher, your professor will introduce you while going through that profession. But it starts from lines actually. So line weight and that all will play a major role in your uh, uh, this thing. Other, it may be in a, on the software also because you may do have a have a choice of using their different uh, uh, line weights or pen, uh, this thing pens over there also. So and one more thing uh, I would discuss because I have I am in profession from last uh, I start teaching in twenty two onwards in NIT Hamirpur. So uh, so at in the starting time we do have many uh, site visits. So I would prefer that is even this architecture profession won't be possible within the four walls. So better to go out, move out and 
to see the word that is more important so sometimes it depends upon that uh, in shoot also or it depends uh, but whatever it doesn't matter whether your in shoot allow you to go out or something but still you do have a time to go or you do have a while well, moment the the moment you are going back to your home or at your hometown or anywhere for wandering or something like that so at that moment always keep your eyes open keep watching because whatever you see can inspire you so it doesn't matter that is uh, whether the building belongs to any master architects but whatever the detailing or to try to analyze try to uh, critically you can say uh, do the analysis of that building so now your way of perception way of watching or way of uh, going around the world would be different as the earlier up to 12th stage uh, stage you was doing so so this is most you can say uh, required or most uh, that is uh, i can say need that is you have to keep your eyes open while going out so whatever it you may go for a climate responsive architecture you may go for an solar i mean whatever that typology or technicality behind that is you are you are supposed to try to cope a bit or you have to try to ask few questions in your mind why it is so why it is in that way why they keep this way and that way so that's i would i would not like to use very heavy words in this first year or this thing i want you to give you the journal predictions or or general uh, this thing awareness that is uh, uh, that is how to visit and how to roam around uh, for getting for example i would say if you are visiting a museum i'm just giving you the one example the earlier up to 12th standard you have visited many number of uh, museums or some art gallery or something like that the, at that moment you definitely would attracted towards those attics or those uh, uh, whatever that things that are, are kept over there for since very long but now your perception would be different you should if you're visiting museum so you are visiting that for the architecture how they have played uh, with the spaces how they have gone through create such kind of spaces how the circulation uh, i mean come up with that that so that you feel very easy while going or you feel uh, you can say hurdle free or, or you should not be worried about that what is the content is there inside in the museum that is okay you are i'm not saying you are not uh, supposed to wash that also but that is on the front mind but in the depths of your mind you should be go for an its uh, technicality its uh, architectural quality that is how it is going to be uh, so uh, since uh, i am graduated from one and then after did my uh, masters also in master architecture then i have completed my phd so it is really a, until unless you are not passionate to that profession uh, to that uh, to this uh, architecture profession you would not be able to uh, uh i mean develop or or you can say be able to achieve your goals because the moment right now you are say, okay you do have enough force of first and foremost goal maybe okay had to complete this five degree course and this and that but still your hopes or your dreams should be i mean higher than that you should try to go for nit iits whatever i would say for the for the further studies and all of from uh, post docs also out of the country also so i would uh, rather um, not putting more pressure on your mind feel free in architecture you will enjoy this profession very nicely you will uh, and and make an a habit of doing arguments or Uh, or for for in a group discussions and all and one more thing is because yeah, i would say rather architects are good man managers also you say they are good in management as compared to other people so i would say that is you are and feel you are in a good in good profession one more thing i would say that is instead of going for an a Uh, working under someone or something okay for the for some uh, period of time you may work but you are the good entrepreneur 
in all other profession the architecture is the only profession who are good entrepreneurs and they do generate employment instead of searching for that employment they do generate so uh, one more thing is within the period of time during that uh, degree course also during that study period also you should be more oriented towards your uh, field works i would say if you put because you are right now you are in lithiana or you are in that uh, shoot which is also in a good city so you'll definitely get an opportunity to work with some architects or for the practical experiences so i would say whatever don't think of uh, you are earning or they are giving you as an a salary or remuneration or that thing don't think of that you should try to devote yourself at least for the five years to the to the institute or for the study so from there don't don't put yourself for earning and all i would say rather you should go for by your interest and one more thing is the people i have seen now the education rather we do have an online education it is of we do have it it is also have a few disadvantages also regarding especially in in architecture because the moment the physically you teach the moment the physically you uh, able to explain it won't be possible sometimes it won't be possible in the uh, in the online but still the people are doing well and 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 it is uh, understandable to the to uh, to each and every student but it may be difficult for the first year students but okay uh, they are the softwares or they do have a proper presentations or they do have a proper videos and all those things so that you would able to understand the things more so the one thing which is missing which i have uh, come across that is which is missing right now in the students that is they are uh, not interested of making uh, models of uh, or three dimensional views of their uh, dream projects or their these things so i would especially uh, because whosoever is a master architects you name any prang any anyone so they definitely they are they do have their own one room workshop for that making those models because from the model at your miniature scale which is going to be in the practical on the ground you would able to understand or you would able to say okay this is right or this is wrong this is good or this is bad or this is aesthetically good or this is aesthetically bad so you would be able to make uh, decisions uh, while while doing in projects in the reality so first of all that is i would say right now during the process of study you should be more innovative rather than more practical i would say it is my thinking or uh, because innovation should not stop that whatever the innovation or whatever that innovative design you brought or whatever the novelty you brought in your project or in your design the practicality of design would definitely be possible so it is not it's this impossible word is not there in that architecture i would say so uh, and 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 one more thing is the the way i was talking about regarding the my journey also uh, because this is the highest uh, uh, degree that is we are achieving but the thing is you have to one more thing because you have to uh, the way the doctors are doing their doctorate in in one particular uh, segment or one particular thing so it is again in your uh, architecture also you do you do have many different fields are there what you have to excel yourself excel yourself or you have to go forward with your uh, at, at least one or two interests would be there so that if you want to go in academics so definitely achieve this level or uh, one more thing i would advise instead of going academically first we are then ma master then phd you should develop a gap between the different degrees or different levels after we are you should gain at least one to two years of na practical experience on that uh, uh, in the in the field then after that you should make in a mind whether you should go for that higher degrees or not then again you may go for a masters from good institutions that is again what more uh, uh, initial requirement that is you should go for a uh, higher uh, these thing degrees or higher education from good institutions that is good enough so so that after a masters also not immediately you should go for a switch on to that phd 
still again you can avail one to two or two to three years or three to four years span so don't think of okay that is my age is going up and up and up and you won't be able to get that it is my personal opinion that i have even experienced from my say uh, myself that is it gives a different uh, school of thought it gives uh, a different uh, i mean learning about that uh, age doesn't matter that is you may go after 30s or after this and at, at that moment also after uh, completing that higher studies um, and doctorate and all but okay otherwise i would say uh, masters up to master program or up to be it is more than sufficient for you people to to excel yourself in your, in the practical field or in that uh, uh, practicality of your profession it is a noble profession nobility will comes out due to your thoughts that is very true so please open your uh, minds keep your eyes open ear always open so that you would able to uh, uh, realize or you would able to uh, produce a different uh, out of the box thinking in, in your profession so i would wish you all the best for your this profession as very uh, good college or good institution where you are uh, getting education and the professors are very nice to uh, deal with you people so uh, by these words i would end my uh, i mean speech but if you do have any query any question my mail address is there or uh, even that phone number then or message you can message you can whatsapp me so i welcome you all in this new profession or in this uh, noble cause thank you thank you so much over to you thank you so much sandeep sir uh, that you generously accepted our invitation and uh, you know it was really a very short notice for you but still you spared your uh, time out of your busy schedule and we are really 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 obliged thank you so much sir but i Thanks. noticed that like for a learned personality learned professor for you like you you still actually came down to the student level and advised them so many traits of successfully managing their studies and you know their projects jo aapne guru mantar students ko diye hain aaj i'm sure ki bachon the those uh, guru mantars will will be uh, thoroughly uh, imbibed in my students hearts and in their minds And thank you so much sandeep sir thank i'm really really thank obliged you, sir. sir thank you sir thanks a lot over to you bhavjeet it was undeniably a very knowledgeable speech now moving further i would like to invite professor harveesh kaur assistant professor gndc school of architecture ludhiana to orient students towards our architecture department curriculum events achievements etc over to you ma'am thank you bhavjeet uh, i hope uh, i'm audible am i audible okay thank you bhavjeet okay welcome all students i hope you must be enjoying the session babji to please uh, switch off your speaker oh okay I think it's okay now. Okay. Yeah. Good. Okay. Okay, students. Uh, so I'm not going to tell you anything more about architecture. I think it's enough for the first half. I'll be just uh, telling you about our architecture college that we are going to be the part now. So I'll be sharing uh, my screen and we'll be discussing and talking about uh, GNDC, GNDC School of Architecture 
and about your architecture curriculum and your examination and your fee structure we're all going to talk about all the queries that students have when they join a college so i'm just going to discuss that nothing that sort of very uh, technical discussion this is a very light session you can have your queries in between also because uh, it is like a virtual tour if you win you would have joined the college this will be our tour to the college and talking about uh, all your faculty all your uh, seniors that are here so it'll be just that just listen it carefully uh, and ask the questions because these questions are required throughout the five year program so i'm just going to share my screen uh, bhavjit is my screen visible okay just confirm me uh, any one of you can confirm that if if my screen is visible you can unmute yourself and confirm yes ma'am it visible okay so uh, first i want to congratulate all that you are going to be the part of one of the most prestigious and oldest minority institute of northern india which was established under nankana sahib education trust in 1956 i think 1956 number itself give you the just that how old this college is and so if we talk about the salient features first i just want to tell you that this college the foundation stone was led by the president then dr rajendra prasad on 8th april 1956 and when you will join the college i'll give you a round where i'll show you that he donated his ambassador on which he came to this college to the he donated his ambassador to gne college only when he came for for leaving this foundation stone so about the salient features we are accredited with ugc university grants commission tata consultancy services tcs iso international organization of standardization and now most commonly and most hyped is nac that is national assessment and accreditation council so we are accredited with all these then uh, we are also covered under technical education quality improvement program that is most commonly known as tq of world bank 3 which give us the uh, uh, salient features like technology business incubator this is step this is basically a, a financial program that give you financial aid to the students who have some creative ideas and they want to develop them so this uh, step uh, helps you with the financial aid we are also collaborated with csir st john university usa wayne state university usa and university of dundee uk and as you all know that we are under the punjab government aided status i think this is something that you all already know and what uh, we are also offering courses under bachelors we have civil production mechanical electrical electronics computer science and information geotech environmental science structure computer science information technology mba and mca these are all the courses that are available under gndc so we particularly talk about gndc school of architecture we started the architecture school in 2019 that is last year under the aegis of gunanak dev engineering college established under nankana sahib education trust as i discussed in the very first slide so we are offering five year degree program that is br and you all are being enrolled into this program through ikg ptu counseling so what is you know any architecture college would have the mission you know to foster the innovators of design research and technology who create culturally relevant and socially responsible places products and experiences because as we all know that architects not only design places we also are into product designing and overall we are basically designing experiences so what we strive ma'am you are not audible sorry ma'am you are not audible
मैम यू आर नॉट ऑडियबल Am I audible, beta? Anyone can confirm? Yes, ma'am. Ma'am, ma'am. Okay, so where should I resume the pre presentation? Till what uh, slide have you? From mission, ma'am. Okay. Uh, till the creative. Okay. Okay. Let me start again. 